After I blew a belt last year, I wanted to check my offset and alignment. Um, so I'm going to be checking the, the X location, which is the rear or the top of the clutch, the Y location, which is the front or the bottom of the clutch, the primary. And um, you do that by basically taking a piece of 3 8 inch uh, square bar, as long as it's straight, it doesn't even have to be 3 8 but just a nice straight bar, clamp it into the secondary, and you're going to measure those two locations, one at the back of the clutch and one at the front of the clutch, and you're going to get your offset and your alignment. Shown in this diagram here, you can see the X location is the rear of the P-Drive. We're going to measure that first, and you can see the spec from BRP is 41.9 millimeters, and uh, that's going to be plus or minus 1.8 millimeters. And they say it's not adjustable, but it technically is adjustable. Um, we've done them before where we have shimmed out the secondary if we needed it. So I got a couple good close-ups of the, uh, the X location, um, zoomed in pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with that, pretty much within spec, um, no issues there. So now we're going to concentrate on the Y location, that's the front of the P-Drive or the bottom, and um, you can see here what it shows on the diagram from BRP is, um, again, not adjustable. But um, it says anywhere from zero millimeters to 1.63 millimeters. So um, I find that a little bit interesting because these engines really move a lot. Um, and if it's set at zero, that thing is going to be out of alignment once you're under load. And here you can kind of see I'm showing that as the, the, the um, the belt pulls the clutches toward each other it torques the motor up toward you know the clutches go toward each other and you're supposed to pull the basically the primary into alignment and that's why you really want that plus 1.5 1.63 millimeters because once you're under load you want to pull that engine into alignment so it's perfect um, so that's really where we're at with these. Um, I don't know why the specs show anywhere from 0 to 1.63. Hopefully yours is more on the 1.5. It's pretty tough to get the measurement on the bottom. Um, you have to have a really small caliper or it, it's really easy to do if you have the, the side bottom pan removed. At the small caliper and I was able to get it down in there and I ended up with about 43.2 millimeters at the Y location, which is right within spec. Mm -hmm.